an object is moving with a velocity given by v equals t squared minus 3t minus 10, where the units are in feet per second. We're asked to find the displacement and total distance traveled from t equals zero to t equals six. Let's first define distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. Distance is the total length traveled by an object. Distance is always positive. Displacement is a vector quantity that represents the direction and length from the starting point to ending point. Displacement can be positive or negative. As an example, let's say an object is on the number line at positive two and then moves left five units to negative three. So the starting position is at positive two, the ending position is at negative three. Because the total length traveled is five units, the distance is five, but because the ending position is five units to the left of the starting position, the displacement is negative five. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say an object starts at positive two, moves left six units to negative four, then moves right eight units to positive four. So the distance is the total length traveled, and because the object moved left six units, and then right eight units, six plus eight is 14, the distance traveled is 14 units. However, the displacement is not 14, because notice how the ending position is two units to the right of the starting position, and therefore the displacement is just positive two. Now that we have a better understanding of distance and displacement, let's go back to our problem. I've already graphed the velocity function, and we're concerned about the velocity function from t equals zero to t equals six. Notice over this interval, the velocity is negative from zero to five and positive from five to six. In order to find the total displacement, we simply integrate the velocity function from zero to six. Remember when integrating, if the area is below the x-axis, we get a negative value. If the area is above the x-axis, the value is positive. So we'll get a negative value over the interval from zero to five, and then a positive value over the interval from five to six. So when we sum these assigned areas, we will get the displacement. So let's first find the antiderivative. The antiderivative of t squared is t cubed divided by three, minus the antiderivative of three t is three times t squared divided by two, minus the antiderivative of 10, which is 10 t. And now we need to find big F of six minus big F of zero, which gives us, let's write this as one third times six cubed minus three halves times six squared minus 10 times six minus big F of zero is going to be one third times zero cubed minus three halves times zero squared minus 10 times zero. And now let's go to the calculator. Notice big F of six is negative 42, big F of zero is zero, and therefore the displacement is negative 42. And now let's find the total distance traveled. We know the total distance traveled must be positive, which means to find the total distance, we'll have to break up the interval from zero to six into two intervals, one where the area is below the x-axis and one where it's above. And we can see from the graph from zero to five, the area is below the x-axis, and therefore to find the distance, we would need to take the absolute value of that integral, and then we'd add the integral from five to six, which I've set up here on the left. Again, we have to take the absolute value of the integral from zero to five, because we want the area to be positive, not negative, to find the distance. And let's go ahead and show the work on this on the next slide. We already know the antiderivative, so we have the absolute value of one-third t cubed minus three halves t squared minus 10 t, where a is zero and b is five. And then we have plus the antiderivative one-third t cubed minus three halves t squared minus 10 t, where the interval is from five to six. Of course, we could take the absolute value of both, but we do have to have two separate integrals in order to find the total distance. Now we need to find big F of five minus big F of zero, determine the absolute value, and then add in big F of six minus big F of five. So we have the absolute value of the quantity one-third times five cubed minus three halves times five squared minus 10 times five. And then we have minus big F of zero, which is just zero. And then we have plus big F of six 
which is one third times six cubed minus three halves times six squared minus 10 times six and then minus big F of five one third times five cubed minus three halves times five squared minus 10 times five. Here we have the absolute value of negative 275 divided by six and then plus negative 42 minus negative 275 six. And this comes out to 149 thirds or as a decimal to four decimal places approximately 49.6667 which is the total distance traveled. Let's go ahead and give the exact value. I hope you found this helpful.